Hello everyone, my name is Juan Carlos Piñeros, I'm from Bogota, Colombia, and today I'm going to talk about the most important modules in a synthesizer. For that I'm going to use Reaper, I already opened a new project, and I'm going to add a new track by double clicking in this region. I'm going to add an FX, and I'm going to select my synthesizer. I'm using the Search Synth, which is a very good synthesizer, and it's free, it's open source, so you can download it for free. As you can notice, this synthesizer has many options. We are not going to cover them all. This is a quick five minutes video in which we are going to cover the most important modules briefly. And those are the oscillator module right here, the filter module, the amplifier module, and we're going to talk about the envelope and the LFO modules. So let's have a quick review of our flow. The oscillator is going to generate the sound we are going to filter out those unwanted frequencies with our filter module. Then we are going to modify the volume with our amplifier module. And we can change any parameters with two devices. And those are the envelope and the LFO. The LFO is more a cyclical variation of, of any parameters. And the LFO creates like a geometric form when a, that runs when a key is pressed. So let's talk more in depth of these topics and let's start with the oscillator module. So the first module that we are going to cover is the oscillator module, which generates the sound based on the geometric waveform. And we have different waveforms to select from. For instance, I'm going to select the sine wave and I'm going to choose the latch option so we can hear the sound while, while I change the options. This is the sine wave, the square, the south to, um, among others. I can also change some parameters, for instance, the pitch or, the sh or even the shape of our waveform. In this synthesizer, I have three oscillators that I can play with and I control the level of those oscillators with this module. For instance, right now, we are only hearing the first oscillator. The other ones are muted. Now, after the sound leaves the oscillator, it enters in our filter module. And the most important filter that we are going to use is the low pass 24 dB. And this is because we want to remove the high end of our sound because the oscillator usually generates a very harsh, very brilliant sound. So let's hear it. And let's add our low pass filter. I can change the cutoff frequency to make it more brilliant or duller. I can also, and I could also change the resonance, and the resonance is an additional control amplifier to the cutoff frequency, so it sounds more obvious, the, the filter. Let's hear it a little bit. And that's how the filter module works. So the sound is created in our oscillator, then goes through our filter and now reaches our amplifier module. And this module controls the volume of our sound. And we can also change or modulate that volume over time. For that, a very common technique is to use an envelope. And an envelope is a pad that runs every time a key is pressed. Attack, time to reach its peak level. Decay, from the peak time taken from the peak level to the sustain level. Sustain is the main level uh, of the sound until the key is released. And release from the sustain level to zero. Let's play with that, a uh, very quick attack. So as soon as I press the key, I hear this, it reaches its peak level, but I could swell in the sound by increasing its attack. Let's hear it. And you can modify this to get the sound that you're looking for. And the last module is the LFO, low frequency oscillator, which is also a modulator as the envelope. So it's designed to control other parameters of the synth. It's different from the envelope. It has a cyclic nature, and we can select a pattern to modulate the destination of our LFO. For instance, here's a sine wave, but I can select other patterns. So three things we have to take into account, the source, the destination, and the amount. So let's see that in our, in our synth. So I have the LFO1, I'm going to click there and I'm going to see all the parameters that I can modulate. Now are, they are blue 
And for instance, I'm going to modulate the pitch of our oscillator. I'm going to increase it a little bit. This is the amount. And the pattern is going to be this sine wave. So let's hear it. And we can notice that modulation in the pitch. I could increase the rate so it's more like a vibrato. Let's hear it with a very high rate or even more. So that's how an LFO works. There are some other parameters that you can play with. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching.